Hi guys, welcome back to our new series, 31 Days of Women's History, because March is Women's History Month. The first day, which is today, we're going to talk about Michelle Obama. Now, she answered 20 questions for Oprah's magazine. Today, I'm going to give you three of her answers. So, one of the first questions that I thought was really interesting was, who's your hero? And she answered, my mom, Marion Robinson. She's always been my rock, my guiding light through whatever fog was clouding my path, and she's quick with a joke when I just need a laugh. Another question I thought was interesting was, if you could send a note to yourself in 2030, what would it say? She said, I hope you're still waking up every morning excited by the possibilities of who you might become. I hope you never think you're done growing. And one of the last questions that I thought was really amazing was, what's the greatest gift we can give ourselves and she said, letting go of external markers of success. Job titles and fancy awards come and go, but our lives are really made up of the little moments and connections in between. Today, we're talking about a sports player. Her name is Cheryl Swoops. Now, the WNBA was founded in 1996, and Cheryl Swoops was the first player to be signed to the Houston Comets. During her tenure, she won three MVP awards, she won the WNBA championship four times, and she also took home three gold medals at the Olympics in 1996, 2000, and 2004. She is affectionately named the Michael Jordan of the WNBA. Now, she was also the first woman player to have a shoe named after her, Air Swoops. And on September 9th, 2016, Cheryl was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Currently, if I'm not mistaken, 2017, she returned to Texas Tech, serving as the Director of Player Development before being named Assistant Coach. Today, we're talking about Jill Scott in our series, 31 Days of Women's History. So, Jill Scott answered some questions on Oprah.com and I took about three of them that I thought was really interesting and that's what we're going to go over today. So, Oprah asked her best advice. She said, my grandmother told me never be in debt to anyone or anything, which is probably why I've never been financially extravagant. I still go to Costco. I'm always conscious of living within my means. Best mistake. Quitting a production of Rent in 1999. I did eight shows a week, under the same lights, wearing the same clothes, every time, and it was a challenge for me. I wanted to do something different every day. Part of me wishes I had continued because then I might have become a stronger actress. But instead, I decided to refocus my energy and I put out my first album a year later. And last but not least, the best gift. This boy, Jet which is her son. We're both super in love right now. Just nuts about each other. He gets on my nerves. He aggravates me. I think I aggravate him too. But still, he's pretty incredible. Today, we are talking about an entertainer, Gabrielle Union. Now, Gabrielle Union, she graduated from UCLA with honors in 1996 a bachelor's in sociology. Did you know that her first acting role was in 1995 in Saved by the Bell, the new class? Now, she didn't want to be an actress at first. She wanted to be a lawyer. Now, let's turn the tables a little bit. Did you know that when Gabrielle Union starred in the movie Bring It On, she was not a teenager. She was 28 years old. Y'all know, black don't crack. Now, this was a very interesting fact that I found out about her. One of her favorite books is the autobiography of Malcolm X, and she reads it every year. Today, we're talking about Dr. Evelyn Moore. Dr. Evelyn Moore is the founder and executive director emeritus of the National Black Development Institute. For 38 years, she led NBCDI and constantly worked to improve and advance early education for young African-American children. 
she continues to defend and support the need for universal child care, which includes access to high quality early childhood education for all children, regardless of race, economic level, or other identifiers. Now, I found a quote from Dr. Evelyn Moore, and I would like to read it to you guys. I really hope we can get away from this deficit model. With preschool being thought of as targeting disadvantaged children, we're still in the deficit model. And I would like to see us move away from that so that it becomes just like kindergarten. First, second grade, everybody gets it, it's no big deal. So I think we should look at this nomenclature that we use because we're really talking about children who are growing up poor. They're low income. But that doesn't necessarily determine that you're going to be disadvantaged. I really believe in these children. I think a great lesson that we've had is the research on brain development and we know more about how it is for children to become critical thinkers rather than rote learners. And so I think that we've come a long way, but we have a ways to go. Today, we're going to be talking about a woman entrepreneur who goes by the name of Shania Wilson. Now, Shania Wilson, she branded herself the People CPA after someone complimented her skill in making complex financial topics easy to understand. She left her large accounting firm in New York City to found her own accounting firm, Fola Financial, in 2017. Now, I found a quote from her, and I want to read this quote to you because it actually inspired me to get really started on my goals and dreams and things of that nature. Let me read it for you. Please never let a job title, a degree, or a person be the factor that stands in the app between you and pursuing your dream. Those things will always be there, but your time and opportunities are not so secure. You never know what is waiting for you on the other side. So be a risk taker and do it with confidence. I, I just feel that in my spirit. I hope y'all can feel it in your spirit too. And let me tell you something now. She also helps others learn how to begin a tax business through another venture, which is called the Tax Essentials Learning Program, or TELP for short. 